not necessarily coming from England. <laughs> he's exotic. He's coming from Lithuania and has this beautiful Lithuanian accent. Uh, so obviously it was a lot of uphill climb on it, but once we started shooting, we focused on that and we realized we were doing our own animal. That was a completely different way of telling the story than the films have done. Well, and let's be honest, uh, sure, Anthony Hopkins great. Your Hannibal is sexy Hannibal. <laughs> Charisma coming out the egg, or did that just come out? I, one of the most difficult things to play is to play sexy. You, you don't have a chance in, in hell, right? You, the other guys in the room have to make you sexy. They have to go, oh my god. You, I mean, you can only walk in a certain way. I think I actually found Anthony Hopkins quite sexy as well. Yeah. Does, does your Hannibal Lecter listen to Barry White while he's eating people? <laughs> No, he's not. He's a, he's a classical musician guy, right? So it, it would be uh, probably Mozart, uh, I guess. Or maybe the Doors. I'm not sure. There, you know, I feel like there is sort of a thread in the show, because it's so, it's so artistic and so beautifully shot. But it's also filled with these people who are very... Uh, they, they like the finer things. Everyone is very well dressed. Everyone e eats well. Like Hannibal. Shoe Dancy is well dressed. Refresh that one. He's, he's, he's got one suit. <laughs> Alright, let's focus on you. You're very well dressed. You eat only the finest things, aside from people. <laughs> Is, is there a statement in there about sort of beware of the beautiful fine things? Well, it's very aesthetic, the show, absolutely. And, and I think that is also a homage to the fact that this guy, Hannibal, he can't waste his time on bad food or bad company or bad wine. I mean, he's seizing the moment, every second is important. So he's, he's the kind of guy we should all live, not exactly like him, but we should, we should at least embrace life the way he does. He has no time for being bored. No McDonald's in his life. Yeah. 